In this video, we'll take a look at a camera that can take images as good or better than these two camera legends. And yet, it is a camera that anyone can afford. Hey, what is going down, you awesome, war-torn, hardcore, nickel camera geeks? It is Sam from CameraLegend.com. And I didn't want to do this, man, but I'm so excited about today's camera. Today's camera is so cool that I have to put the shades on and have to... We are back today. All right. And, you know, admittedly, uh, most of our reviews so far have been reviews on cameras that are not for everybody. You know, uh, the Epson RD1, the Leica DMR, the Leica M8. Those cameras are fantastic, great cameras, but they are just not for everybody. You know, whether it's the price or the rarity or the risk, uh, they are not cameras for everybody. But we're going to try to remedy that today with an awesome camera that can take images just as good as the Epson RD1 and perhaps even better. All right. And, you know... Now, what if I were to tell you that today's camera legend has an arguably better sensor than these two cameras, that it takes sharper images straight out of the box, and best of all, can be found for as little as $25 to $30. What if I were to tell you that today's camera has, definitely has better specs uh, than the Epson RD1 or the Nikon D100? Well, you would think that I'm BSing you, right? But no, today's camera is the real deal. Today's camera is a legend that broke the internet in 2004. Today's camera legend is the Nikon D70. Now, let's face it. You're disappointed, aren't you? You wanted something more radical. You wanted something juicier. Well, let me just tell you something about this camera. This is actually a very uh, finely specced camera with perhaps one of the greatest CCD sensors that was put into a digital camera is in this camera right here. Uh, now, this, as I said before, this camera caused quite a sensation when it was released in 2004. Here's my 2004 copy of Popular Photography. And what does it say here? Let me see. Amazing new $999 Nikon D70. Now, what was such a big deal about this camera? Well, it was really the specs, okay? So in this unassuming looking camera, a camera that, to be honest with you, looks even less interesting than a Nikon D100 or 5D, totally sleeper looks, but inside this camera, you have uh, one eight thousandth of a second shutter speed, which is really reserved for top end cameras, pro level cameras. You have flash sync up to one five hundredth of a second, which is totally unseen in most cameras. I, I think 90, maybe 95% of my cameras cannot do that. Um, and you have this really superb Sony 6 megapixel CCD sensor in here. Okay, now if you're going to say, oh, it's only 6 megapixels, well, you don't say that about the Epson RD1, do you? You don't say that about the D100, so don't say that about the Nikon D70, okay? This camera actually, uh, arguably, as I said, arguably has perhaps an even better sensor in here. Now, speaking of sensors, uh, even though 6 megapixels, just like the Epson RD1 or the Nikon D100, uh, people say that the sensor in here is actually different. Looking back now on the time frame, it's my belief based on the images, the, you know, the color, the tonality, just the overall look of the images. I personally feel that this is probably a modified version of the same sensor, but everything on the internet says that they're different, so I'm just going to go with that. Okay? But imaging wise, another thing that this camera uh, does differently or has uh, is reportedly a, a weaker anti aliasing filter, the AA filter, which uh, gives uh, sharper images straight out of the camera as opposed to, like I said, the Epson RD1 or the Nikon D100, all right? So uh, I want to show you guys some photos from over the years, and we're going to come back. There's one thing that this camera can do that a lot of other cameras cannot do, 
and you know what that is? This camera can teach us all a little bit about human nature. So stick around. After the photos, we'll go over the prices. We'll go over some of the common issues. And I'll tell you why this camera can teach us all about human nature. But here are some photos from almost 20 years of the Nikon D70. Alright, so as you guys have seen, this camera is capable of producing some really nice crispy photos with great color saturation. Uh, like I said, anything that the Epson RD1 or the D100 can do, this one can do and probably do it better. Okay. Alright, so I told you guys that uh, I used to go on the photo forums a lot and the buzz was so great in 2004 when this camera came out that it wasn't even out yet and you know how people have cameras uh, in their profile signatures like let's say Sam and then on the bottom it says Canon EOS 5D, Nikon D1X, etc, etc, etc. Well folks, uh, so many folks on their profile signatures, they wrote D70, ordered. <laughs> and Hank, and I'm, not <laughs> and I'm not kidding you guys, for real, it was like so many uh, let's say screen username D70 ordered D70 ordered it was like a source of pride to be able to say that I ordered the Nikon D70 That's how that's how much of a buzz this camera was getting uh, But it lived up to all the hype now What are some of the common issues with this camera? Well, the main common issue first common issue is that they tend to get sticky All right, so if you ever go to websites like use photo pro or KEH and you see Surface sticky, surface sticky. It's a, it's this the rubber. For some reason, they begin to deteriorate, and it was, for some reason, they were kind of like worse on Nikon cameras. I don't know why, but this one is actually okay. I mean, you can remedy that by putting some uh, alcohol, uh, isopropyl alcohol, and rub it down, and maybe with a little powder. That's what I do, and and that should help. Okay. Another common issue is if they're going bad, you'll begin to get error messages. So if you buy a camera and it starts doing that fairly quickly, return it, okay? Because you can always get another one. But for the most part, they are uh, pretty reliable cameras, okay? Now, what are the prices for this camera? Well, as I said before, uh, if you are a keen shopper, a thrifty shopper, you can find this camera any day of the week probably between $25 to $30. And like I said, if you can't find it at that price, the most you'll pay is $40 to $50. Now you might pay a little bit more for the Nikon D70S, which is actually the same camera, but with a bigger screen and maybe uh, some extra modifications that I do not remember, but it's pretty much the same camera, all right? Now, remember, as I told you guys, that this camera can teach us a little bit about human nature well, the reason I say that is because not a lot of people are actually interested, right? Like like I said, when, when I first popped the camera up, I bet you guys were like, oh, D70. The reason for that is, see, in human nature, when something is plentiful, when something is cheap, when something is obtainable, people don't want it. People not interested, you know what I mean? Uh, just whether it's cars, food, women, <laughs> anything. The easier it is to get, the less likely you are to want it, okay? But today I want you to buck that trend. I want you to say that I am not gonna be that human animal. I'm gonna be a human being, okay? And I want a great bargain. I want a great camera bargain. 
this is it right here the Nikon D70 and as a matter of fact I told you guys about this camera five years ago uh, but nobody listened <laughs> and I'm sure nobody will listen again today but uh, believe me when I tell you you can get results as good and probably better from this camera than from an Epson RD1 from a Nikon D100 you know it, it may not be as exciting as the Epson RD1 it, it doesn't have the cool rangefinder factor you know the Epson RD1 is unique so I'm not gonna cut it down in that way but when you go to the bottom line which is image quality right here baby this one just as good or better as I said all right I don't want to come straight out and say better because folks will get mad at me but you can definitely get similar or better images out of the Nikon D70 so I hope this was helpful and like I said I'll Photography should be affordable for everybody, all right? All the other cameras that I've done are, you know, camera legends. They need to be seen. They need to be shown. But in general, I really would prefer to use cameras that everybody could use, that everybody could get great results. I enjoy using the Nikon D70. It gave me great results and continues to give me great results. All right, so I hope this was helpful to you guys. And if it was, don't forget to give me a comment. Give me a nice thumbs up right there. And subscribe to this channel because you never know what we're going to do on this channel. We went from the Leica DMR, the mythical Leica DMR, to the everyday, the everyman's Nikon D70. What is the next camera legend? I do not know. But what I do know is that it will always be something worth your time. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, let's take a beautiful 2004 era Sony CCD sensor, probably the greatest 6 megapixel CCD sensor. Let's take that greatest 6 megapixel CCD sensor picture of you guys at the count of three. One, two. I will catch you guys next time on the CameraLegend.com YouTube channel. Hey, yo, it's Camera Legend.